Nicola Sturgeon's leadership could be thrown into jeopardy after an ex-Scottish National Party SNP, deputy leader called for a revolution at the top of the party. The SNP were called on to revolt against the first minister to dispose her of her role. It comes as Ms. Sturgeon pushes the party in its final stretch towards Holyrood's May elections. Many believe she will secure a majority in the ballot, which she would use as the mandate to hold a second independence referendum. The BBC was today accused of undermining democracy after it confirmed it would continue to air Ms. Sturgeon's coronavirus briefings in the run-up to May. Express.co.uk has previously been told that the First Minister has used the daily appearances to her advantage, with the coronavirus pandemic having helped the independence cause. However, the past few months have not been without drama. While Ms. Sturgeon continues in her legal battle with her previous political ally and former First Minister Alex Salmond, discontent has surfaced elsewhere. The party's ex-deputy leader, Jim Sillers, who was a leading figure in the country's independence movement, last month called for a coup to oust Ms. Sturgeon. He revealed in a blog post that he would not vote for the SNP in May, comparing his and many Scottish people's dilemma akin to the struggle witnessed by lifelong Republicans who disliked Donald Trump in 2020. More radically, however, Mr. Sillers wrote, Yes, time is short, but it has not run out. There needs to be a revolt and a change in leadership, a real sweeping change. The first action falls upon the NEC to demand and create the change. His comments came when the SNP seemed at a crisis point. The party's influential Westminster MP, Joanna Cherry, had recently been sacked. Shortly after, SNP MP Neil Hanby was also sacked from the Westminster frontbencher. Writing in the New Statesman, Ms. Cherry suggested her dismissal came as the result of the party's bitter dispute over Ms. Sturgeon's Gender Recognition Act. She wrote, the reasons for my sacking were not made clear but I was not surprised. 